Hi, today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these wings that are on this little chibi. Um, first I'm going to have to send you to a website which is my website but I've got um, some features that I've turned on at the site that didn't used to be there so um, we're going to head on over there and the email address or I'm sorry but the web address is www chibitude.com and you can see it um, down in the description. Okay, let's head on over there. Okay, now once you're at the site, you will see that uh, there is an icon with pictures of tiny little wings on it. And if you click that, it's going to take you to a new section on my page where you can find some wings. And you will click choosing your wings and there's going to be a lot of variety for you to look through. You choose whatever you want. Um, these are the ones that I'm using for this particular chibi. And you can see there's a lot of varieties and there's a lot of different sizes. Uh, this chibi is small, so it's going to be a three inch size that I'm going to choose. And I'm going to choose the green one here. And once that loads up, it'll have the picture of the wings. And you will right click on it and view image. And then once you see the image, you can just uh, right click and print. Everybody's printer is a little bit different, but mine comes up and it asks me um, how I would like to print it. So I'm going to choose a higher quality. I'm just using regular paper for mine, but you can use a nicer paper if you'd like and you'll get an even better print. So print it out and it'll come out uh, three inches wide and you can bring that uh, back over and I'll show you what to do with it next. Okay, once you've printed out your wings, you're going to need some supplies. I've got some different sets of pliers here, some scissors, and some thin wire. And uh, let's clean off the table here, now that you've seen everything. Okay, now I'm just going to cut this down to a smaller, more manageable size. Now we're going to trim these out and what's really important is um, we're just going to cut the top but you want to cut it very very carefully and as close to the uh, line as possible. The reason you want to be so careful here is because these wings are going to be folded in half and so you're going to use the cut in order to line them up so that the pattern matches on both sides. So it's only the top that we're worrying about cutting but you want it to be very nice and as close to the line as possible. Okay, now we fold them in half and we're using the edges to line it up. And we're going to do that with both wings. Okay, now we're going to build some wire to go inside of the wings so that they stand up and hold their shape. So I'm cutting a couple pieces of wire, probably about maybe nine inches long. It'll depend on what wings you chose and the shape of the wings, of course. I can't exactly tell you how to do this part. It's something you just kind of have to um, feel on your own. You're going to twist the wire and line it up with your wings and it's kind of fiddly but you'll get it. It's different with every wing which is why I can't really instruct you. Um, I'm using the uh, big part of the wing to make the first loop and I'm doing it twice in a row because both wings will be the same even though they'll be mere opposites of each other. You want to make sure that you leave an end that's twisting out 
that's going to come out of the uh, side of the wings because that's the part that you're going to put inside of your doll. Okay, now I'm going to check and see how it fits in here. I can see that it's it's tight, which you want it to be tight, but it's they they don't go very deep, and I want them to go deeper than than that. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my little drill that I have. It's a hand drill. And um, drill out these holes to make them a little bit deeper. And you got to be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to drill all the way through to where you've got holes in the front of your doll, which I have done. If you're making a doll and you're dressing it, I guess it doesn't matter so much. But when it comes to making some little critter like this, it does look funny when they've got holes in the front. I've also found that if I don't, when I'm, I'm drilling the holes, if I don't just kind of like pull the drill bit out straight after I've done it, it leaves the um, bits of clay inside. And so it, uh, I can't get the clay out. So I use it to kind of ream the clay out um, as I'm doing it. And now you can see that they go in deeper and that's better. They're still a little long, but I want it that way. And it looks like they're about... They're lined up about right like I like. So those frames are good to go. Now when I line these up, I see that um, my big loop is maybe just like a little bit too big. So I'm going to take my round pliers and just add a twist to the loop and um, to make the loop a little bit smaller. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So like I said, it's kind of finagling to get these in to fit right. But you want to make sure that you've got enough room around the outside of the wire so that when you put the glue on that it can um, grab on the outside of the wire as well as the inside of the wire so that the edges don't come apart. Okay, now there's my two crazy shapes that are going to go inside of my wire. And I'm going to use what is called Sobo Glue. It's my favorite because it uh, dries really fast. Now, right at this very point, what I'm doing is I'm cutting a tiny little V. And uh, normally I do a better job at this, but as you can see, I didn't cut it quite right. So I got to keep finagling to try and get it open. But anyways, what I'm doing is I'm cutting a spot for where the stem of the wire can come out uh, of the wing sandwich, I guess you would call it. Okay, there you can see the little notch. Okay, now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to use the Sobo glue and on one side I'm going to um, put a nice amount of glue. I want to get it all, all covered. Okay, now I'm going to put the end of the wire through the hole, the little notch end that we did, and line the wire up inside of the wing. And remember, you want to make it far enough away from the edges so that the glue can actually wrap all the way around the wire. And then we fold it closed and line it up and press it down and get it ready to dry. And we're going to then do the same thing with the next wing. Okay, now it's time to uh, finish cutting out the wings. It's easier to cut um, the details on them when, they're, when the wire is already inside like this. It makes a nice smoother edge. Okay, next I take a permanent marker that is the color that goes with the wings that I like and I go ahead and I outline the wings. And the reason I do that is because if you don't, you actually can see the white sides of the paper. And I think that that makes it look very much like paper. So I like to do this. 
It can be any color that you like. These are green. Sometimes I like doing the black. The black gives it kind of a cartoony look, which is cool. Now I'm just going to speed through the rest of it because it's just decorating. And you decorate any way you want. Um, what I'm using here is a Martha Stewart um, glitter pen. And it's pretty. It gets clogged a lot, but it's pretty. Okay, now you're just going to decorate your wings. I'm using Martha Stewart's glitter pens just to accentuate um, the shapes of the wings. You do whatever you want. It's your wings. Okay, these little... Um, gizmos that I made are so handy. They're just sucker sticks with alligator clips on them. Love them. Anyways, I use them to hold the wings. And here what I'm doing is I'm using some translucent liquid Sculpey mixed with some glitter and I'm putting it into um, some areas that I want to be a little bit of a different color. Blue for these. Actually, it's not really blue. It's kind of like a, a bluish blue with some green glitter in it. Okay, and here they are. They've come out of the oven. That's what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and test them and see how they fit in the chibi. I like them. I think they look pretty good. So this is good to go. I think I decorated it some more beyond this, but um, that's good enough to get you started. You can decorate as much as you want. Hopefully that helps. Now come to my site and get you some wings. Bye.